Schnorr and Taproot, that's the first new protocol upgrade since Segwit in 2017, which was what laid the groundwork for Lightning to be developed, basically. And Schnorr Taproot is really the first protocol change in almost four years now. So it's, we're very excited about it. Cryptocurrency enthusiasts around the world are rejoicing as Bitcoin's newest update is set to go live. The new Taproot system will make transactions more secure and cheaper for consumers. But that's not all it does. With an increase in privacy protection by up to five times over previous versions of Bitcoin, along with added security measures such as two-factor authentication, users should feel a lot safer about storing their coins on exchanges or wallets. Miners who are interested in adopting the upgrade can signal their interest by including special data called a signal bit with each block they mine. If 90% of blocks mined during this trial period include the taproot signal bit, then miners will have succeeded and we will likely see activation this coming November. Decentralized networks like Bitcoin are a bit more complex compared to a centralized network that can be changed without a consensus. This is good for people who want to have full control over their cryptocurrencies, but the downside is making changes to the network requires coordination from a global user base and intensive coordination among stakeholders. Luckily, I think things have quieted down and there's much more consensus that Schnorr Taproot is a good change to Bitcoin and everyone generally supports it. But everyone kind of has PTSD over the last time when we tried to change Bitcoin. And so we're sort of really dithering over how we actually want to implement it. If things go as planned and a consensus is reached by at least 90% of miners, Bitcoin Taproot will be live on the blockchain before this coming winter. If Taproot consensus cannot be reached, we are back to square one, though that is unlikely. Taproot is quickly gaining support from the mining community. I am confident it will happen, said Poolin VP Alejandro De La Torre. Up to now, there has not been one complaint from our miners at Poolin about our wish to upgrade to Taproot. Even though there is apparent growing support for Taproot, every innovative change throughout history has been met with resistance, and this is no exception. It seems most people agree the update is necessary, but how to execute the update seems to be a controversial topic. Regardless of the Reddit arguments, overall, it seems increasingly likely Taproot will activate successfully by November 15th, and anyone wishing to track its success rate per period, go to www.taproot.watch. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.